There couldn't be any more interest in women's basketball, and Charles Hallman has been following it all. He's written for the Minnesota Spokesman Recorder for decades and has had a front row seat. He's covered anything and everything but focuses on basketball. We're talking men's and women's. We had a chance to catch up with Mr. Hallman and learn about a missed opportunity and what's the future of both the NBA and of the women's game. You know, what Clayton Clark is, is, is aberration, shooting that far away, other players, but there's some good midways. Juju Watkins remind me a lot of Simone Augustus. She had that built, she goes to the basket, she's going to be the new flavor of the month. Charles Holman is already ready for the 2025 women's college basketball season to start. ESPN is signing out, reporting on one play, that's unheard of. Yeah. There's more exposure on it. It could be better. Okay, I still think that the coverage is still treated somewhat like they're special as opposed to treating them being critical mm -hmm. if they need to be critical and being, you know, I, I still see the unevenness in, 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 in women's coverage. Mr. Hallman has covered everything throughout his 30 year career with the Minnesota Spokesman Recorder. Stories on race and politics are commonplace. A moment that really stands out? I interviewed Mrs. King. Miss Coretta Scott King, yeah. uh, and, uh, which I'd never forget. Mr. Hallman could have had a different life. He grew up just a mile away from Hitsville, USA. And so walking home, yeah, you run into him all the time. I went to school with Aretha, one of Aretha Franklin's sons, and then uh, I went to school with Barry Gordy's niece and nephew, yeah. who was twins. And uh, yeah, we went to school with some famous people. But you don't want to be a singer? Hmm? You don't want to be a singer? Oh, I sing in the shower. <laughs> Instead, Hallman went to Michigan State. It was there he found his call. Uh, a long story short, uh, orientation, I met some young ladies who played for the basketball team. At Michigan State? At Michigan State. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got to know each other, so uh, they would tell me, come watch your games. And at that time, games were free. This was before the NCAA took over right. women's sports. So I watched the game, and I enjoyed it. But there was nobody there covering them, you know, wonder why. Here's what Mr. Hallman won't tell you. He's been honored by the Women's Basketball Coaches Association. The University of Minnesota's Tucker Center put him on its Title IX honor roll, and he's been inducted into the Hall of Fame by the U.S. Basketball Writers Association. That last honor, a little much for Mr. Hallman, so he asked his retired pastor to bless him. He said, you never promoted yourself. You always put everybody ahead of you. I said, now God telling you, you need your, you need your reward now. Mm -hmm. And when he told me that, that made it a little bit easier. It's still hard. There is a buzz around Target Center on this Friday night. How you doing, Patrick? Mr. Hallman is where he usually is on Friday nights when the Wolves play, <laughs> in the media room, several hours before tip-off. You know, I put them out there for a quarter. Turns out, this is the same room me, a young college student, yeah, you first met Mr. Sorry. Hallman more than 20 years ago. At one point, you asked if I was at school what I was doing. I was a journalism major. You insisted I try to talk with the Wolves to see if there are any opportunities. You insisted a few more times to put me in touch with a few people. And I wrote after that, I've never forgotten your kindness and can't tell you how appreciative I was for your gesture. While I never did anything with sports, I did go into news. It made a huge impression on me to see a black media professional in the Twin Cities, as the numbers are quite small, more so on television. Your persistence gave me some of my motivation. Some people in school used to tell me I couldn't do this. So to be honest, even though you probably may never said much to me, you helped to restore my confidence. Mm -hmm. So you don't even realize it, the small gesture that you played mm -hmm. in shaping everything that's come together in my life as well. So I have to tell you, thank you. Well, thank you. I, uh, you, you reaffirmed what my pastor said, that you get rewarded. In, in ways that you'll never realize if you just do what you're supposed to do. What's next for Mr. Hallman? There's one thing still on his list. I love to cover. I never covered the NBA Finals before, so I would love to. I covered WNBA Finals, WNBA Finals. I yeah. covered bowl games and I covered Big Ten stuff, but I never covered uh, NBA Finals. But I got denied in the 0304. <laughs> uh, that was a home and home series for me. Yeah. But. Uh, I would like to cover it. By the way, Mr. Hallman was a fixture as a teacher. 
He left St. Paul schools after 20 years, and I'd be remiss if I didn't also point out Mr. Hallman just wrapped up his 29th year serving as an assistant coach at Minneapolis South High School. This year, the team made it all the way to the state tournament in the quarterfinals where they lost by two points. Mr. Hallman says he'll be back next year to teach on the court.